What's up everyone? Here we are today with a deck from Pickle. We got ourselves a Kane Tick Tank deck. This is very similar to the Volumes deck. It just has Venom instead of Chuggy, right? That's literally the only change. I think that's it, yeah. So yeah, this is uh, almost exactly like the Volumes deck, but we're playing Venom instead of Chuggy. Alright, let's give it a go. I think it, I don't know, I haven't played Kane or Tick Tank much in this uh, in this meta so i'm interested to see how this goes my my thinking is that kane is probably worse because less money tick tank i actually have no idea i haven't really played tick tank at all commando 007 pretty scary guy knows uh knows a lot oh i have kane emotes amazing kane lives he's gone harvest a laser I do wonder how often this strategy works, the old Harv laser start. Like, how often do you think people get a harvester with it? It's probably decent against, like, double harvester opening, maybe? I don't even know if that's true. What do I have for my anti infantry? It's Venom, isn't it? Alright, cool. This deck is also very close to uh, the deck I was playing last season, where it has Venom instead of Catch It, right? Isn't that the deck I was playing last season? Yeah. I was playing this deck last season, but with Catch It instead of Venom, because obviously Catch It was broken. But like a large reason to play that deck and that build was the OP Catch It. Like without the Catch It being OP, I don't know if this build is really worthwhile. I really want to get a Tick Tank for the bikes, so we're gonna we're gonna play a little safe here. We're gonna we're gonna not build a lot of a lot of stuff so we can get our Tick Tanks out. That's some abysmal Venom micro. Truly really awful. I just, you can see I just gave up after a while. I tried to move it twice, I just gave up when it wasn't moving. Just get a new Venom and accept that we're terrible at the game. Alright, let's get the Venom up here, get another Venom to this guy. And we'll get the Tick Tank on the Harv. He's on two Harvs now, obviously. That's the number of Harvesters you want if you want to make your expensive units. Um, obviously, if you want to make your expensive units before the game ends, then two Harvester is not a great choice. But if you're happy to save up for the next game, then I like two Harvester a lot. Like, I mean, this guy, this guy's gonna, he's gonna get his tech out just in time for the next game, I think. <laughs> oh, the drill put on the base. Excellent. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm gonna ignore it, because who cares? Like, what world are we living in where this drill put on the base becomes remotely relevant? Alright, killed both halves. Tick tank on the middle. Send the Venom down here, send the Venom down here. I'm gonna Obelisk as well, because why not? Give him a Frobelisk emote. Second drill pot on the base. Look how close he is to winning the game, though. If this game on went on for another, like, two minutes, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Two minutes from now, I'd be... Oof. Oh, lordy. Next game, I'm in trouble, because he's gonna have loads of money, and my base is gonna be really low from those flamers. I wonder if this guy gives out the special D. I know Keisha Beep likes the special D. Killing <laughs> this off first again. Sometimes I feel like I'm just playing a different game, you know? Like on ladder, I get it. I'm playing the same game of Rivals as everyone else, but... These people who are like, yeah, I'm gonna go miss off first and walk into enemy harvester. They must have success with this strategy. Like, they must have a lot of success. Because they keep doing it. It's like the main... It's like every game they do it. So it must be successful. Because you can't just be doing it and having it be terrible every single time and continue doing it, surely. Like, if you lost, if it's bad every time you do it, you'd stop doing it, surely. One would hope. Alright, we got our Venom. Hoping that Venom plus Rifle. Alright, whatever, I'll just move on to here. Venom wins 1v1 anyway, so. It's not like I'm in any real danger here. Boosted, boosted missile might be a problem. Yeah, it looks like we get oh we get smashed by Boosty Missile. It feels bad, man. Boosty Missile gave us the business. Now I'm assuming and this might be mean, but I'm gonna assume that Special D has gone for a second harvest and now the missile's fired. <laughs> to shreds, you say. <laughs> Alright, well. Let's get this uh, let's get I mean I don't know if this guy even has an answer to Venom. It kind of looks like Venom is just a hard counter to his entire deck. I'm guessing the Wolverine that comes out about 20 seconds after the game ends can beat my Venom, but that's about it. Other than that, it looks like old Venom. Old Venom, pretty strong. 
I do yep. it like this blade. I, I gotta go and check. I gotta go and check his. Uh, I gotta go and check his deck. It was the Wolverine. The Wolverine was his answer, as I as I expected. Yo, thank. All right, no idea how to pronounce this guy's name. Wicked Mechanic says he has special beers that he's drinking all night. What special beers have we got, Wicked Mechanic? What makes them special? Let's see a war factory. We're gonna have buggy or bike opening buggy. Sure. We're gonna make a single laser, and then we're gonna try and put the laser and the militant together. And we're gonna stall this missile as well. And then we're gonna go bikes. Yeah, he's gone second buggy. So we're gonna go bikes. I'd like to go tick tank, but it takes a little bit longer to get a tick tank. Probably too long, honestly. Here come the buggies. We've got the bikes now to help out. He probably goes bikes as well. Yeah, we'll go bikes. We'll just have a little bike mirror where he's got some buggy support. But yeah, if we, if we just bike mirror, we will obviously win because he has two pop cap invested in buggies. And I have no pop cap invested in non bike units, so I'm gonna have way more bikes than him. We can even push this half afterwards. You might not have barracks, like given he opened War Factory. But if you open War Factory and you don't have a barracks, then you'd better be ready to win that War Factory mirror. Because if you lose that War Factory mirror and you have nothing to switch into, then you're just dead. Now we're about to kill his harvester with just random bikes that we have left lying around. Obelisk, Ooh, yikes. Run away, Tick Tank. If the Tick Tank gets out of vision, it won't get hit. Like, if, it, if the Tick Tank locks, if the Obelisk locks, off, like, locks on, then it can shoot any distance. But it can only hit things that it can see. So it can hit, it can hit any distance on the map. You could hit, you could hit literally the other side of the map with it. But only if that thing remains in vision. If it leaves vision, then the Obelisk can't shoot it anymore. The reason I'm just going triple tick tank is this guy clearly has nothing. Yeah, like he has a banshee, but it's gonna be way too late. And I can just go phantom immediately. All right, well there you go. No infantry, no problem. You are victorious. This game's already started. What a nightmare. Three, two, one. All right, stone wall this time. Gonna go rifle. We've got dals. Dal's Jones. Glory Let's see if Dal goes for a missile opening. And our survey says Rhinoceros. So I'm gonna go single laser and then we'll switch tech switch. And I want to stall because he's opened with a very aggressive opener. We're gonna sit on defense here. He's gone second Rhino. Okay, so we'll get these two to 2v1. Obviously, the second Rhino comes in, so we're gonna get Shrek, but that's okay. Because the bikes are on the way. He's on triple rhinoceros. Wow, okay. Rhino too strong, I guess. Obviously the bikes will beat the rhinos 1v1, but they don't do that well. Like you can see it's kind of like not a great matchup for them. Like each of these bikes is now traded. Well not traded because they're still alive, but each of the bikes has killed like a single single rhino. And we'll go tick tank. He's skewed quite a lot on this turret. Again I want to stall because a, a war factory opening is very aggressive, tends to charge the missiles very much. So you do want to stall a little bit against it. But the Tick Tank should shut down all of his War Factor units pretty hard. Another Bike Squadron, Let's see if he tech switches here. Nope, he has not tech switched. I'm surprised by it. Yeah, very surprised to see no tech switch. I don't really want to block this because I'm just going to kill it. So blocking it means it will, you know, it might start shooting my laser. If I just let it on the pad, I'll kill it. This is a free kill. We'll go for another Tick Tank. There's a lot of War Factory openers against us for some reason. So we're just going to keep tick tanking. I do want to save some money though, because if he normally people will go air against tick tanks, because obviously fighting them on the ground is really tough. So I do want to have enough money to respond to an air switch. So basically, I need 150 to go for a phantom. Looks like he's going to send his units at my harvester, because that's how you win the game. That's obviously this guy's played rivals before. 
He's not new to rivals. He understands that you only win the game when you kill Harvester. But unfortunately, I've played around it by moving the Harvester. You see a very high tier strategy. And since he's showing us no air, we're going to go third tick tank, get it on the third pad, and it's just this guy just can never beat it, it looks like. Tick tank confirmed overpowered unit. There's the Orca I was expecting, and I do have the 150. So we'll just get the Phantom out, but the game's already over. I can't Obelisk him sadly, because we went for the uh, Phantom instead. But I can give him an uh, Obelisk emote, which is uh, similar. Mission accomplished. Alright, up against Fort Paste. New objective received. Who says lol in chat? What a sniper. What a stream sniper. No stopping. Militia here. So we both got two rifles. I, he walked into my rifles there, so. Fort Pace is now claiming I slammed him. Absolutely. I saw you I saw you queuing Fort Pace, I went for it, mate. We were, uh, we're ahead in the rifle war here, so he's probably gonna have to tech switch. I'm a little bit worried about Chuggy, so I'm gonna stop charging the missile. That's why I moved off, because like even though it's not a great attack, I just don't want to be charging the missile because of Chuggy. Yeah, okay, I might need to, I need to be ready to support in a 2v2, though. We're pretty close. We have enough money now that we can switch into a tank if he does go Chuggy, or Venoms. Venoms might actually be better. So now I'm now I'm in a position where if he goes Chuggy, I think I can respond appropriately to it. I'm keep making rifles for now. In fact, he's playing Oxana. Yeah, there it is. He's playing Oxana as well, makes me think Chuggy. Um, I could have gone Obelisk, actually. I still could if I wanted to, but we've got the Tick Tank in position now. I'll send some bikes to go help out. Mutant? Yep, cool. I'll have to go Venom for the Mutant. I really wish I had a, a boost right now, but, you know, what are you going to do? So, gotta make do with what you've got. Not sure about that boost, because like, because the Venom's shooting them and he'd already lost a model, like, the amount of damage they could put out is so much lower. That's kind of the downside of squads, obviously. So, boosting a, like, damage squad or a squad that's falling is, uh, never, not, 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 not really great, to be honest. Okay, so we're going to take this missile. Feels good. Obviously, the main thing we need to deal with is the mutants, and the best way to deal with them is Venom. So, mutants and bike is basically what we have to fight. We can ignore the Chuggy by just making, like, things that don't die to Chuggy. Because uh, we're going to make Venoms to kill mutants, then we just need things to kill bikes. Yeah, there's a lot of bikes. Uh, Venom can, like, 2v1 a bike, I think. That's what we're going to do here. Because we have too many Venoms, basically, so I'm happy to, like, trade one off for, uh, for a bike squadron. Here comes a stealth tank, we'll just run away from that one. Let the tick tank. Shoot it if it comes, uh, if it ever unstealths. Might even obelisk here. I'm trying to find a way to target an obelisk. Oh, that's too I'm trying to figure out a way to get the obelisk to kill this and the chuggy. I think if we do it now, the timing will work out. Yeah, there we go. And then there's the chuggy I want to kill. Yeah, nice. And then we just have Venom. We have the, the Obelisk plus the Venom to take care of everything. Ooh, a well-timed Obelisk, I, I say so myself. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New mission received. What's you? Very Foster weird name. This guy strikes me as a wheel opener. Yeah. You can just get you get a get a gut sense when you play as much rivals as I as I have. You get these feelings about what people are likely to do. So second wheel doesn't really mean anything, although he did not micro it well. To charge this one, let the rifles finish off the single wheel. Third wheel, this indicates to me that he's probably gonna go chuggy. Like a third wheel instead of switch tech switching. Yeah, fourth wheel as well. This looks like a this looks like a chuggy to me. So I'm actually gonna preemptively bite. Nice, got a free shot there. 
flamers. Interesting. So it wasn't Chuggy. That's actually really surprising to me, like given how long it took him to switch to them. I thought it was very likely it was going to be a Chuggy. Alright, let's get this one over here. Let's get this Venom on this flamer. Alright, so we've got the first missile. No problems that. Come up with some lasers. I want to skirt the flamer, that's why I'm going up around like this, because the flamer's going to die soon, but it'll get some pot shots on the laser if I don't play the laser right. The flames do a lot of damage, so some pot shots on laser is a problem. And then we'll go tick, which is basically just, you know, the deal with the bikes. But bigger than a laser trooper. Doesn't die the flame up. Now, I don't want this one bike, it kind of looks like he's trying to well, leave it there, so we'll move that down. I'll go fresh bikes because I want something a little bit more mobile than the tick tank. He's going to go flamers next, because obviously we've got this laser up in his face. Oh, an inferno, okay. We'll just retarget the inferno of everything. And we'll get a phantom. It looks like it's going to die. No, it didn't quite die, but yeah, phantom can go and tank the bikes long enough to fire the missile. Alright, very clean victory there. Oh, obelisk. Ah, missed it. Could have obelisk right at the end. You are victorious. Lord Anubis. I really hope this is like a Stargate reference. Also chat, Star how good is Stargate? Stargate SG1? Oof, what a great program. Huge fan. So we're gonna go and try and 2v1 this rifleman. So probably a strength of buggy, that's a bit weird. Stargate is the best. I knew you'd like it, Atom <laughs> Alright, so these rifles are a bit damaged. This guy's a bit shit. I don't really want him anymore. Let's see if I can get a free shot. Yeah, nice. Got a free shot. And we'll 2v1 this guy. I don't really care that much about the rifles dying there. Because they're already pretty low. I do want to finish off this buggy so I can get some lasers if I need them. There we go. Focus down the bigger bike squadron. Get the lasers to finish off the shit one. And I want to see what he goes next. Laser, yeah, sure. So we'll go rifle. This spike over here, I'm not too invested in. I'm going to try and get rid of him. Move this rifle over here. This two man bike, I still have some interest in, so I want to hang on to him. That Giga is a little scary. I might obelisk it if it gets close enough, which I assume it will. Alright, with the blog, miss the block, that's annoying. Alright, we've got two. Yeah, I'm going to obelisk it. i got to get rid of this thing. I could potentially lose the missile to that, to that Giga Cannon. So we'll obelisk that. I'll give him an obelisk emote as well, so he knows he's been obelisk. Just in case he hadn't noticed. <laughs> he might be sitting there thinking, what was my Giga Cannon? What's going on? So I'm just letting him know, you know? Just being a bro, being like, hey buddy, just so you know, it was the obelisk. You're welcome. Actually going to get the Venom to shoot the Giga as well, because Giga's are kind of squishy and Venom does okay damage. And I need to get rid of the Giga ops. Yeah, there we go, nice. Some more bikes. I'm a little bit low on cash monies, so I would like to play a little bit conservative here. Like this Venom is kind of expensive, I want to lose it. I mean, it's obviously it's only 30, it's not crazy or anything, but he seems to have a lot of spare cash lying around. Given that I killed two diggers, I'm surprised that he is, uh, he is so flush. Uh, I think I'm going to obelisk again. This is probably why I have no money. Figured it out, chat. Obelisk, shoot the buggy, please. Thank you. I need to kill this Giga. Surprised these bikes didn't go top, to be honest. I think that's the play I would have made. And then we'll rotate these around, so I think I've got it now. Coolio. Cool, 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 cool. Obelisk carrying that game. Let's go. Enemy base destroyed. Three, two, one. New mission. Bobby B. I actually don't know what Bobby B is playing right now. I think he's still stubbornly playing tech because he just likes it. Although maybe not. You know, if he's opening dogs, it's unlikely. I think he might play snipers. Snipers could be a real problem for this deck. Like having to try and break snipers with just venom. Like Sniper Pitbull with Venom, like Tick Tank. Tanks help a lot beating snipers though. 
He doesn't, he doesn't look, yeah, he's definitely stalling, so it looks like tech. I'm okay with that though, like tech is so slow now, I think you don't need to charge as aggressively as you used to. Yeah, he's got double half as well. Alright, we will start charging now. But it's not like before where you get like 20 seconds of stall and you just lose the game because of it. There's definitely some amount of, uh, there's definitely more ability to, uh, to, to play the game normally instead of just playing balls to the wall charging. Yep, snipers, I was right. Alright, we'll back up, I don't want to fight the snipers. We're just going to take these two bottom pads because the snipers are going to clean the top one. And then it's Venom time. And obviously trying to keep the pads charging. I'm guessing he probably has Hammerhead. Titan, that's quick. A little bit scary. Alright, run away, Tick Tank. Ah, Tick Tank's gonna get it. Alright, we'll spam some bikes. Titan's not great against bikes. So he's going for my Harvester. And then we'll Obelisk it. Goblins that pit bull because I think uh, Titan's obviously going to go down. So the pit bull getting to the top pad would have actually been a problem. Alright, there it is. Objective complete. Alright, 1517. Is it going to be wheel opening? I feel like it might be wheel opening. Nope, rifles, cool. He's put his harvester in a slightly weird spot, might be going double harvester. Ooh, pushing in on the 2v2. Not sure about that play. I'm gonna move 2v2 here. Or 2v1, sorry. I'm gonna come straight into Venom, alright. Let's get a bike squad drink. Could have just gone Venom of my own. Not sure what that would have been better. I'm just gonna keep making rifles to go with my bikes. Ooh, hello, that's real pod. Now we'll go Venom. Ooh, just quick. Not bad. I've got triple Venom now, it's way too many Venoms. I need a bike squadron. There's a shade. That's not going to do much. Maybe this bike squadron is a mistake. Uh, I don't know if I can get it over there in time. Just in time, nice. Get the bit. Ooh. Pretty sure the shade dies to the second bike volley. Yeah, that's an expensive shade right there to lose. It's a double double bike. Didn't even didn't even kill a whole squad. Feels bad, man. A lot of lasers coming out with these venoms. Probably need to get a phantom. I look. I mean, it looks like he's playing like a triple air, which means I can probably just play my own air game plan against him. Like I can just play venoms and phantom. This is why triple air decks tend to play bikes because if you have nothing to break an air mirror, like if you're just using lasers and your opponent has venoms or talons or whatever, then there's nothing you can do. Like, you just can't break it with the laser, you have to make your own phantom, but then the phantom of the opponent beats your phantom. So yeah, it's kind of awkward. Yep, that looks like that's what's happening, just put an obelisk down as well. We've got spare cat, why not, right? And this drill pod is useless as well, because it's only have, only have air. Mission 
Mission accomplished. Three, two, one. New mission received. All right, Crazy Eagle for the last game. Crazy Eagle is pretty good player. Give him a cane greeting. He usually plays Mutant Chuggy, which is obviously a very very powerful deck. I'd say my deck is not favored against Mutant Chuggy. Um, the best out to Chuggy in my deck is Tank, and it's a bad tank to move. Because, like, obviously you don't want to move Tick Tanks around. But yeah, it's not, it's not a good tank to fight Mutant Chuggy with. And when it's borrowed, it still gets farmed by Mutants, so you don't even have that advantage. So yeah, I'd say it's a bad matchup for me if you play Mutant Chuggy. I do want to stall as well, because obviously the Chuggy tends to come out around about the time of the first missile firing and kills all your rifles. So you do want to stall against Mutant Chuggy if you're playing like a tank deck so you can respond, you have more time to respond to it. I might even just Obelisk to respond to the Chuggy, that's something I've, I've done with Kane decks before. But the Chuggy comes out, you just Obelisk it. But it's a very expensive way to kill the Juggy. I've got to throw Venoms. That bypasses the Juggy as well. Oh, I messed up my timing. Yeah, I messed up my timing very slightly. I would have had to flip there. My timing was slightly better. Unfortunate. It was actually the drill pod that caused the problem. Because it meant I wasn't stalling by getting on the second pad. Let's borrow this tick tank before it takes too much damage. Yeah, there we go. Expecting mutants. There they are. Let's get the venoms on them, get the tick tank away. Yeah, he's just playing mutant chuggy. So he's got mutants, he's got stealth tanks, he's got chuggy. We haven't actually seen a chuggy yet, but it's very clearly mutant chuggy. Which is, I believe, a very bad matchup for me. Tick tank also not great at chasing down stealth tanks because obviously again it's not good at moving. Like it's good at standing still. Oh, I'm in trouble. I need to block this guy. And I'm dead. Well, there you go. Bad matchup. Didn't play it right. Messed up a couple of times and Seth just beat me both missiles. All right, so there you go. GG. Nine one, sadly. But yeah, really. Very un very uh, unfortunate matchup at the end there. Really bad map for me as well. Obviously the Ceph is a lot better than Kane on that map. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, this is basically the volumes deck, but with Venom instead of Chuggy, which I think makes it slightly worse. I think the Chuggy is just a way more powerful unit than the Venom. Uh, also allows you to Chuggy allows you to play a two building game, whereas you have to play all three buildings with this deck. So yeah, it's an interesting interesting build, but I do think it is simply worse than playing uh, playing the classic volumes deck. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you all next time.